Okay. I haven't cried in a while. Do you want to cry now? Do you want to cry right now? Do you want me to make uh, you cry? I, I just had a moment where I felt like I could I could cry. Like Why? in a like a happy way or sad or mad or I, I, see i don't know hmm. i don't know i think because we were doing our faces for the thumbnail you don't breathe. i was just like <laughs> you were just tapping into emotions <laughs> <Trying. that laughs> well a method actor <laughs> it's so close can you cry on command can any no. of you well now i can if you no, say but I can the right cry thing very easily no. i bet if i were like, to think if you're mean to me i, I could make I could Aaron cry, cry. I, I know the things to say i yeah. think do it right now <laughs> not in a mean way but like something that would make you her sad. stupid ugly bitch <laughs> no but i'm just like oh. <laughs> okay, I'm so on. it's not mean, but you know what to say. Like something that would make her really sad. Not like me being mean to her, but saying something like, <laughs> "I say it and then she cries." I'm trying to, I'm trying to cry. Or showing her a video <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> then I feel like I'm responsible for it. You know, I just want to say the things because I don't want you to actually cry. But, yeah. You know, like think about a pet dying or a loved one dying or leaving you. Matt, or... why are you doing okay, this right now? Okay, let's just get into the episode. <laughs> he just really needs to cry and have that euphoric moment. The release. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why we're kind of talking about this is because it's crying, um, <laughs> it's crying which deals with our... Our mental health. Point is, guys, I'm going to go straight into it. What's good? Welcome to Good Influences. I'm Matt King. This is Carly and Contro, Mike Sheffer, and Aaron Gilfoy. And this episode is about health and wellness. It's about your mind, your body, and your soul. Actually, not soul that much. We're not going down that route. But this is uh, an issue that affects us every day. It's the uh, the spaceship that you're going to have for the rest of your life. So let's talk about... However long that may be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting off strong. Oh, no, then we're going to have a death episode one day. No, oh, we'll, Aaron will not uh, allow that to happen. My stand-in will be there for... The, this one's already, like, edging too close to, like, my biggest fears. So it's, Oh, you're scared of dying. I'm scared yeah. of other people dying. Oh, not I'm, really myself. No, both. Yeah, I'm scared Aaron's, of both. Well, Mainly Aaron because like hypochondria is so, like the health thing too. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a lot. Do you want to talk about your health journey that you just went on with blood types, or is that something that we? Oh, that's really oh, yeah, interesting. We found our blood types out. We did our little blood tests. I found out I'm A negative, and I'm A positive. So oh. we do well in school because we get A's. <laughs> that's what we think. <laughs> yeah. I have that A plus A minus. <laughs> yeah. What caused the um? The need to get your blood uh, test. Curiosity. Take, it's cu funny because we both got tests without knowing, right? Or did no, you no, order no. it? Yeah. Oh, you were talking about it and then you ordered yeah. it. Yeah. I was just in Vegas and my mom was like, I want to know what blood type I am. And I, I thought maybe there's a test on Amazon. And I looked and it was like $15 for two tests. So how, did we, oh, how do you it, take it? Okay. You this is finger. what stemmed from, though, because Carly has never gotten COVID and our friend Caro oh. has never gotten COVID. And we're like, they must have that like blood type that people have that aren't are just like susceptible to COVID and don't get it. Yeah. So then Carly tested, found out that's not the same blood type. But then I was like, I wonder what blood type I am. And then it's I really think crazy that we of... don't know what our blood type is. Also, I feel like that's something every American should just know your yeah. blood, like you know your like birthday. Be, it would be on like your license or something. Yeah, it's yeah. like such valuable information. But don't most people who are O type they know? I don't know. I don't that's think like you're the most walking, common. Uh, I don't think it is the most common. It is. I, I think it's it the, up today. Uh, it is. Yeah. Stop gaslighting us. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was like, we are blood specialists. I thought O type. <laughs> You're I thought, I thought O type is rare because you can mix O with any type of blood. I think is that right? Like uh, you can put O blood into someone who is a universal donor. Yes. I don't know if that means well, that it's the most prevalent though. I think it's an even distribution. We this I think we're <laughs> going into a little bit of health and wellness, and we're completely <laughs> unqualified. Just we should preface this by saying none of us are healthcare specialists or uh, providers. I don't Take know. all of this as educational <laughs> yeah. entertainment. Carly was an EMT. Mike. Were you? So. I was. Well, I had my certification, but I never like worked <laughs> as an EMT. I know. I love this. Go on. <laughs> Go on. What? No, your EMT days. It's just I forget Carly yeah, yeah. was an EMT, and yeah. it's just one funny picturing you like. But, um, excuse Literally me, sir. Excuse me. I need to. Um, Hi, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Can you please? Um, I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. to bother you, but can you please get an ambulance? No, I was in college and I was in between things. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And one of my best friends and my boyfriend at the time were kind of in the same boat. And I was like, LOL, there's an EMT <laughs> class that's three days a week for like eight hours. And you get a certification in, I think, four months or something like that. And so we all took it together. So we all carpooled three times a week together to this <laughs> EMT class. And you would do clinicals like where you would have to do fake scenarios. And real firefighters taught the class because they're EMTs. 
And <laughs> it was really fun. And I will say it was me and one or two other people that passed the first time and everyone else had to take it again. Wow. Or take the test what? again. Yeah. It's your blood type. A it's my blood type. I'm a, a plus. A plus. A plus. I got across a plus. the board. <laughs> yeah. That were, um, but did you ever have to go, you, did you go out into the field? And um, yes, because I had to do, I had to stay at fire stations triage, and like, go if you with will. them. So I would literally hang, yeah, I'm triaging people. <laughs> but I would stay at the fire station from like, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. or something and i would just jump on the ambulance <laughs> yeah no we'd like watch the nbc lineup there was a office was new parks and rec it was like really prime did time you go out NBC. on calls yeah i had to jump on the ambulance when they did what were the situations you were getting into were you ever like oh i hope it's a heart attack <laughs> no. and not like no. some person's hand caught in a i don't know Blender. A, no a i disposal I feel oh. like my anxiety had started then and I was like dreading doing it at that point. That's why I never actually worked as it. But one time I remember we got a call and this guy ran through a bus stop and it was just like glass, like where you wait, there's glass. And he ran through it and we showed up and he was like, I don't need to go on the ambulance, but he was bleeding everywhere. How did that happen? Uh, I think he just didn't notice it or maybe he was on oh something. So you're like, here's a band aid. Like, yeah. Chloe, <laughs> yeah. Would... Well, they, he refused, so they could they legally couldn't make him. And oh, yeah, my God. So he just walked away. But that was the most memorable. Do you yeah. guys consider yourselves healthy people? Mm, I think I'm yeah. healthier now than I have been most of the time. I think I'm pretty life. healthy. I'm yeah. Hel uh, I'm not I the mean, healthiest I've been in my life, but I'm, I think I'm in the t top. 15 percentile of people my age in terms of health yeah what about i'm saying in in your life do you consider yourself a, like matt king versus matt king are you healthy yeah yeah i'd say so minus like a few habits <laughs> minus a few habits i have my vi i have my vices yeah, but like we okay. all do yeah yeah i think yeah, overall, i consider myself though, healthy yeah. actually yeah i do i do because i work out usually four or five times a week i don't think an unhealthy person does that and is still unhealthy, so I would consider myself yeah. healthy. Yeah. I feel like if you're working out at all, you're kind of up there in health because I feel like a lot of people don't. Yeah. Which I like never did until recently. Do you consider yourself pretty healthy? Uh no, I, I'm it's like something I'm always working on. Uh -huh. I used to be the most unhealthy person in like in, in college. Way. Just I sat around all day and never did one lick of exercise until like the past year. Um, I would eat like Doritos and Hershey bars for breakfast and like oh, for breakfast? marshmallows like, in college. Marshmallows? Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. Like my college, I, I literally fuck? ate like potato chips and like I didn't eat anything with uh, an ounce of nutrients for like the entire time I was in college and after college. I eat like box macaroni and cheese, Domino's mm. pizza, like never had a vegetable until probably like two years ago oh my in your god life? like i mean i've had vegetables but like would never eat a vegetable sure 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 and it, was it just because of your circumstances and uh the access to good quality food or you just weren't i mean like to making eat? your own food also. like growing up in my parents house my parents were pretty healthy like my mom would make us dinner every night and then when i got to college and i was like on my own i had never learned how to be healthy on my own so like I just went to it's like, you know, your first time when you go to the, the supermarket by yourself, you're like, oh, I can buy whatever I want. I'm just going right to the candy aisle. And then I just that's just where I shop for food. <laughs> okay. Oh, my yeah. first time I had access. So I was extremely unhealthy. Thankfully, no health problems didn't like gain a bunch of weight or anything. Very blessed. But um, yeah, in the past few years, I like people have been telling me you got to eat a vegetable, Mike, like put something <laughs> green on your plate. What's your fave? so far fave vegetable yeah uh really into brussels sprouts love do you ever put like parmesan cheese on them and a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette nice Yum. Um, i like eating a brussels sprout i hate smelling it though. yeah, yeah they I don't know. smell when someone good. cooks it up i'm like what is that <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my <laughs> god it's so bad yeah. no one no one made it so much and i got really burnt out of them but mm -hmm. my house is set up where there's like a big right in right outside the kitchen there's a big opening to the upstairs if that oh, makes sense yeah. oh, no. and our, my bedroom re would will reek to this day if he makes it today or something Ugh. broccoli or brussels sprouts and i'm like this is not yeah. what i want to smell in my bedroom <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting yeah but that, when you do cook it though like I, I feel like when we were kids and you would like see brussels sprouts or like broccoli it was like disgusting yeah i liked them <laughs> I you love liked broccoli. Them? When you were growing up, broccoli all I loved day. Brussels sprouts. My mom would make Brussels sprouts and just put the Parmesan cheese, like the uh, green 
canister of Parmesan cheese like all over them. So it's oh, like yeah. cheese, a cheese dish. But I love were Brussels they like sprouts. were they like grilled steamed, though? Or? No, they were like steamed Brussels sprouts. Mm-hmm. So they're like a little like soft and soggy. But I do love I love them like in the oven. I yes. love Brussels sprouts, but I like vegetables growing up. Like I loved ca- like cooked carrots. Oh yeah, I like V eight. <laughs> <laughs> V8. The juice. I, do. I think vitamin yeah. water. Yeah. V, v, have a can of V8. Yum. It's like a serving of vegetables, though, but yum, yum, but don't, yum. Isn't there like sugar in it? A little bit, but yeah. like you're getting some veggies totally. in it. And you, it's yeah, it's not the healthiest, but it's like healthier because yeah. I'd rather down like a thing of V8 soda. than sit there and actually eat vegetables. Mm. And I feel a little better. Also, I do the green powder and the beet powder. The you r- still do this? Yes. You have V8 uh, like once a week or what? I have a V8 like every two days, but oh every God. day I have I have green powder and beet powder. What's green powder? Um, it's like superfoods, like okay. a bunch of like green stuff that they blend. It's like Athletic Greens, basically. Got it. Athletic Greens. If you want to sponsor this podcast, <laughs> please do. Well, I'll please. be health kings and queens. I would love an Athletic Greens membership. Anyways, <laughs> T um, manifesting. Do I think that has it made a difference? I think so, but I don't know. I think the the healthy eating and stuff, like maybe, and again, just my opinion, but I think later in life is when that stuff catches up to you. When you're like 55, if you've been eating like garbage and not, totally. you haven't taken a walk in 25 years, when you're 50, <laughs> that's when you're going to be like, sooner than then. <laughs> well, but anyways, but, well, so yeah. I have recently started going on walks, which has been really great. Like I try to walk an hour a day. Mm. Um, there we go. Did one with Carly. Baby that was steps. really fun. Go walk together. Yes. Well, one time. One time. <laughs> I was going to hit you up last night, but then I was like, I just want to listen to music. Fine. <laughs> um, I didn't go last. Actually, I did. Where did but. you walk? Uh, well, in like the neighborhood, there's like all the hills. And so I do. I just Ooh. try and oh, walk yeah. up every possible Ooh. incline. Oh, hell no. Is... <laughs> no, I don't want to. I'm not going to walk. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean, because like, like I try, I've tried to run and I hate running. running I tried to sucks. go to the gym with you. Hated that. Tried oh. to do the tonal. Hate. I just hate exercise. But walking. Have you ever worked with a trainer? No. Matt King has been my tra- my only trainer. Like, He's a good trainer. Maybe if you had a guy or a woman like training you. Do you do you have a trainer? No, but I, it's so hard for me because I was an athlete. So like I've been trained oh. my whole life. So then when that stopped, I was like, oh, what do I do? Right. But you have the foundations from. Totally. And it's like if. But for me, it's like if someone is telling me to do something, I'm also super competitive in that way where I can't stop. Like, I can't fuck up. That's nice. I also I'll do a Pilates class. And when I'm in the class, it's like, obviously, I'm going to do everything. And I've tried to do it at home, like Matt Pilates videos. And it's I want to give up so much quicker i don't even think of giving up when i'm in class there's yeah you're 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 not going to give up in front of a group of 20 people and be like yeah. you know what yeah. i'm gonna go on my phone right now like and just look at tiktok why don't you want to exercise that i much, want Mike? to but i just don't have whatever it the... causes too much pain because you're sore <laughs> after a few days and like you don't no, want to fe- you sore. don't want to feel like that again so then you g- get off the, the wagon i just never have the motivation or like the thought in my brain like let me go exercise right now like it just yeah. has never occurred to me to be like i'm gonna go do push-ups like well, no one likes push-ups let's be honest <laughs> i you, love push-ups like, what i'll be like watching a movie and i'm like i'm craving <laughs> oh my god just you're a push. such a like a guy <laughs> I, I, and i just like will like get down and no like one do, do a that couple too. Like, just on the floor i'm like <laughs> my roommate adam melcher does 400 push-ups like every day what yeah, yeah great like, <laughs> is, is he like ripped? Yeah, he's like, he's like looks like so much better. Like people who haven't seen him in a few months, oh like he's God. getting all these compliments and it's How? like, yeah, I'm like, you have to work up to that, obviously. Cause... I think girls and guys are different though, like body okay. type wise. <laughs> I, isn't it like really tough for a girl or pull ups? That's what it is. It's like really know. difficult for a girl to do a pull up versus oh, a guy. I love a good pull up too. <laughs> and that makes me want to go work out. Like, I'm not doing push up on the floor. I'm taking a break right now from, from working, working out. out. Oh, um, for my just my psoriasis, it's mm-hmm. it's really clearing up. You have psoriasis? It's, yes, <laughs> I do. Um, it's really clearing up. It's on its way out, and I just don't don't want to reactivate it and there isn't like a proven link that working out makes it worse but it ca- you're stressing your body get worse like, is it like sweat it's your sweat okay. your adrenaline everything goes up and it just flares right back and so i'm just trying to stay calm keep cool. chilling and hopefully it will be gone but that's what i'm dealing with you know you have to uh okay would you rather okay give would, it, shoot, would shoot. you rather like work out look hot and have psoriasis or be like your cute little skinny mat with no psoriasis yeah 
Oh, I'd rather be ripped with psoriasis. <laughs> I, I, I would. What a sentence. I okay. would. <laughs> you like can't look be... at photos of yourself when you used to be like skinny. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like so it, cute. It's like a, if I show Matt a photo, get that away from me. Oh, I don't want to really? see it. I don't wanna, yeah, I'm just like, absolutely not. I don't oh. know why. Yeah, it's a little like body dysmorphia. Or it's okay. just like, I think I was just being lazy back then. And I see a lazy person. And Aww. who wasn't working out and coming up with excuses why I didn't need to. So I just don't like that. It's a person in denial. It's not about, just like your body type. It's your overall general well-being and like how you feel now as opposed to when you felt then. Yeah, I think so. But that's like, I would say like uh, me five years ago, though. Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing some yeah, pictures like, of me like a year or two ago. And I was like, damn, I was like in great shape. <laughs> oh, you're in good shape. What? Oh, I, I think I'm in decent shape. I could be better. I could be better. <laughs> um, more V8s. Yeah. More V8s and uh, protein powder and creatine and all of that. Do you guys take vitamins? No. No. What? I just, <laughs> I sit outside. Donald Trump told me all I need is vitamin D. So. And, and bleach or chloride. Right. Yeah. So I do that every morning. Why don't y'all take vitamins? I just, what would I take a vitamin for? Because you guys are like females. You're going to have to have children one day. Okay. okay. No, no or not. What? what? What is this, the 50s? You're going to have to have children. You guys have to, I don't know. You guys really need to be focused about your your your, your uh, birthing pod. That you're, no, I'm never having yeah, a child. It's not a thing. About multivitamins and well, I've t I did um like years ago. I took prenatal vitamins, not to have like a baby, but my gynecologist was like, "This is good for X Y Z." Also, I had like abnormal cells, so it was like a whole thing that she had me do. But then I was like, "I don't need this." It's like, a vitamin. Just take it. Yeah, but like, what vitamins <laughs> like are you getting? Just like a just multivitamin. Eat, just eat the foods that you will get the same vitamins from. Uh, I need the peace of mind. I need to take that pill every day. Okay. Just know that you're getting like your vitamin C, vitamin D, niacin, B12. You don't B3. even take yes, vitamins. I yes, I do. Yes, I do. Every day. He every literally day. said like the last episode, if you take vitamin C, you won't get sick. And look who had COVID last week. Oh, shit. <laughs> look who took all his vitamins Wait, and still got COVID. You? I vaguely remember this conversation. Yeah. He was like, if you take vitamin C every day. Vitamin D, I think it is. I think you said vitamin C. Vitamin yeah, because I was like, no, because it just flushes out. Yeah, like it, it absorbs as much as you should have, and then it just flushes the rest out. Well, in all my years of med school, <laughs> zero. <laughs> I, I, I've learned that. Uh, I think vitamins are just like, because I, again, I don't eat properly, which is like a thing. Sure. But if yeah. you are eating properly, apparently the the theory is that, it's, that it's always better to get your vitamins from food. But since I don't eat the best, I yeah. take a daily. You're like, oh, uh, the Doritos orange, vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm healthy. laughs> oh. Yeah, I take yeah the multivitamin, and then I take fish oil. And then oh. I take uh, those pills right are way too big. With the fish oil ones, I think that's the one my dad choked on. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. possible. Like, that's it's possible. Really big. I think you feel like like a fishy burp after. Yeah, like, that's, oh, yeah. I'm not yeah, taking that Yeah, because it's then. like liquid in there. But it's good for your heart and yeah. your cardiovascular health. Fish oil? Yeah. Fish oil pills. I've never taken Omega fish three oil fish oil. oil. Yep. Yeah, they're. I think great they make little you. ones too now. Yeah, little beady ones. Yeah. Can you just eat fish, or it's something different? Well, yeah, it's omega three. Yeah, but like, nah, I'm not going to eat fish and every go day. cook fish every day. Right. It's right. just a little bit of it's fish like the oil. the same as eating like a carrot every day or like drinking green. I mean, I eat day. sushi like probably like two, three times a week. <laughs> well, you're probably good on your fish oils. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good to know. I have this rash. I know this isn't true, but I just feel like vitamins don't do anything. Placebo. I believe yeah, magnesium like, by glycinate or magnesium. I think it's by glycinate. Yeah, I take that I take before that I go to bed. Like I calming. feel that works. Do you feel it works? Um... My sleep, Actually, my quality of sleep yeah. has improved. Like, I wake up and I feel like, oh, I should be up now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you wake up in the morning, like, when you're supposed to, and you're like, oh, I can get up now. Yeah, I started taking it because uh, my therapist was like, it's not proven, but a lot of people have said it helps with anxiety if you just take it every night. Oh. Yeah. Do you take it right before bed? <laughs> um, I'll take it at, like, nine or something. And then yeah, apparently chill. you're not supposed to take it right before you go to sleep, because I started doing that. I would, like, take it right before I was going to go to sleep. And would just have insane dreams, oh. which is like I've usually never had dreams. <laughs> I never had dreams. Never had a fever. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get to that as well. I'm just oh, that I've never had a fever before. Yeah. yeah, I usually never get sick. Like I've never like finish your first. Uh, yeah, yeah. I so then I looked up. You're supposed to take it like an hour or two before you go to sleep. Okay, so it has time to settle in your body, and then it works. But yeah, yeah, a little scoop of powder, magnesium before bed. The best thing. Oh, you is that like the calm thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
I I had to take that to try to poop. Oh, that's my. <laughs> did it work magnesium for me? Citrate? That's the one. No, magnesium citrate. Yeah, that yeah has, there's a pooping uh, magnesium the oxide. oxide. Oxi- magnesium oxide. Magnesium oh, yeah. oxide. Oh yeah. There's like you there's six different magnesiums. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you don't believe vitamins work. I mean, I'm sure they do. I just have a s- irrational thing in my head that I'm like, I mean, I went through yeah. phases where I would take a multivitamin every single day, and I they didn't feel any different. Massive. They were massive. They were so I would big. I would Your puke. women's one a day. I mean, disgusting. You would puke? It was like yeah. this big. Yeah, you got to take it with food. I know. That's I'd... the big thing with vitamins. Oh, Did you yeah. take vitamins as a like child? Zinc. If you take zinc, uh, no, oh, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. projectile. Yeah. Did y'all take vitamins as a child? Yeah, I did the Flintstones the vitamins. Flintstone no. vitamins every, every day. Yeah. Never had one. I don't think I did. You never had a Flintstones vitamin? Well, I definitely <laughs> ate one, but probably for like funsies. <gasps> oh never, my God, like, we should bring them next time. My parents weren't like, here you go, take this. Oh, we took it every day. The hard knock life, baby. I wonder if the recipe's changed. The recipe. The dosage. Maybe we can go to the oh, factory. Oh, that's. Uh, I just want to see the damn bottle. We'll get one. I know. We can they try still them. make it. They we have can, to still. Should make we do it. like a kids' vitamins mukbang? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh God! Should we like OD on vitamins. Like <laughs> we are zinked out, man. <laughs> we turn just yellow or like jaundice. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, like, if I feel like something's coming on, then I will like take my vitamins just to get that supplemental, like, yeah. whatever. I don't know if it's like really doing anything, but oh, for sure, it's totally the God thing. Where I'm like, I don't believe in God, but then if I, something I'm going through, something, I'm like, please God, yeah, <laughs> no, it's the same thing with vitamins. I'm like, they don't work, but if yeah. I feel like I'm getting sick, I'm like, I need vitamin C, I need yep. vitamin C, zinc. Yeah. yeah, I've been lately. I've been just really like thinking about um like my flexibility a lot like weird like a tension in my legs being oh, able yeah. to be limber like realizing <laughs> i need to prioritize that because i've always been just focused about having the pump having a little bit of bulk but like the longevity of my legs you and everything with me. <laughs> i would actually like to or yoga get into yoga's it. Yoga's probably yoga better. though there's i don't know there's a, a lot of balance in the class i feel yeah. silly doing yoga i have to do it privately in my own home but i yeah Pilates I think- is really good for joints and flexibility i mean my class is usually all like over 50 and they're all strong and see that's what i think i need to be doing because i went golfing recently and i never have back pain todd and zane and all of them they're constantly complaining about their backs and i played golf and two days later i had the worst back pain i had ever felt oh no and it was just i it all started clicking to me where i'm like i need to be way more focused about the flexibility of these muscles and now that i'm 30 i want my 40s to be like can you bend over and touch your toes no, I've never been able to. Wow. I've never been either. able to. Like those things in school <laughs> yeah. that you push. <laughs> oh, yeah. That you put your legs on and then you push it oh, to yeah. see yes, how flexible yes. you are. Like, I can't. <laughs> I have no lower back flexibility. Is that as far as you can go for real? Uh, I mean, or is wait, it like, like in bending the way? over? Like, I'm saying, like, can you stand <laughs> Matt up? Matt is currently trying to. <laughs> this is a to terrible flex. stand up. And, oh, yeah, watch, watch, watch. Yeah, the if Ooh. you're watching the video, it'll be a lot better, this section, but Matt is currently. Standing. Oh, oh, oh wait! Well, you're bending your, your, your knees. Straighten your, your legs. I can't. That's if it. You literally that did like it, a week of yoga. You'd be able to yeah, touch you, your toes. I, I think it's you're just tight. Yeah. Or you could look up like a 30 minute morning stretch video on YouTube. Yeah. No. And do totally. That. You know well, they Every do morning. yoga classes that are literally just stretching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt, sit back down. You know, you know, also, I had, I had this thought. I'm, I'm really thirsty. Okay. Can do I go you, get? Oh, uh, water. Do, wait, where do you refill water? <laughs> and the and the bubble. You're probably Bubla. fucking up the like yeah. the oh, I'm framing. Sorry. I'm sorry. Speaking of water, is everyone drinking their eight cups a day? Uh, I would say I drink the over standard eight, eight standard. cups. Yeah, I don't think I think that that's been determined to be just like kind of baloney. No, it is. What? But yeah, <laughs> I actually looked it up for this specifically. Okay. But like, okay. I just drink a lot of water. I think it's like a good good number. Well, because eight cups, my brain, I'm like, but how big are the cups? <laughs> <laughs> well, know? it's like, I think it's like the measurement, like a cup, <laughs> eight ounces, like, like a measuring a cup, cup. Eight of like those, like one like cup of, yeah, no, no, a cup is a, is a pretty substantial now. I feel like I could just go, 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 go. yeah, eight of those. I could just do eight and then be yeah. done for the day. <laughs> I guess so. But <laughs> I, I don't think, TikTok, I think you should drink as cups. much water as you want. That's yeah. yes. Yeah. If you're I thirsty, have, drink water. I have four of these a day. That's good. I, I think that's mi- the reason why I never get sick is because all I do is drink water and it's the only liquid I drink is water. Really? Only. I, yep. I mean, well, and coffee. coffee yeah. Besides yeah. for coffee, like never have soda. Well, alcohol. 
Yeah, I I guess that's like, but I'm not. I'm saying like with Daily. like meals. With I meals. saw you drinking soda. <laughs> yeah, like, like some borderline alcoholic. Just like, I only drink the alcohol one. I do, problem. Yeah. No, but I mean, you know, people will have like a soda with their lunch, or like yeah. orange juice with breakfast, or yeah. oh yeah, uh, a beer with dinner. Like all, I I just try and only drink water, and I think it's the key to. My health. I think it's okay to have a soda like once a week, though. You live in America. Have a fucking <laughs> soda. I what about once a day because I don't but drink I'm soda Diet either. Coke. Once, a, yeah, once a day. Uh, I'd be like, don't do it every day. Like, <laughs> do it like I don't know, maybe five days. What's out the of a science? Week. This girl on TikTok. Sugar, it's just sources, sugar. Set your source. <laughs> She's like a private chef in the Hamptons, and every morning instead of coffee, she drinks a Dr Pepper, like oh to get her day God. started. Yeah, oh my God. and it's like I don't ever drink soda yeah, the only time i really drink soda is like when i'm on an airplane and i get a ginger ale i also like do love an occasional ginger ale like at night it's just very like it's yeah it's calming nice. but like i don't i really just don't like it it's too spicy patricia loves a diet coke oh, she'll same. have yeah she'll start to get her it. day yeah. started with a diet coke oh, <laughs> i always crave it after i do a workout like when i come home from pilates i'm like my reward is a diet coke oh, like i just like oh. <laughs> but i will say i drink i got this yeti like months ago and I think that has made me drink so much water because I'm like addicted to it. What a bizarre water it. bottle. <laughs> it's great because, you know what? It I was love so to similar. Ice. What do you mean? And, uh, Carly's looks like, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a propane tank. We're going to start, <laughs> gonna start it's cooking like up a in a Coke out. Like, I got my gas. <laughs> and it looks like it's, I guess, yes, our. Yours looks is very, like. But yours looks like, it's like, how do you put your mouth on that? You just, just it's like it. a water bottle top. Yeah, it's like the same size as that. And I love it because ice will go through it, and I love chewing ice. So this is like mm -hmm. truly the perfect water bottle. Sexually <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Remember when that was like a thing? If if you chew ice, it means that you are sexually frustrated. Is that true? I know people say it's iron deficient, it. and I'm like, yeah. I don't think, like, I'm not craving it. I just like yeah. it. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's a difference. I'm defensive. Do, no, I just like it. Do some mothers when they're giving birth chew on ice? Did yeah. I read that? Ice chips. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're not allowed to eat. Oh. So and it probably like helps with the pain oh. a little bit. But we'll never know because we're never having kids. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> so and also when I was getting on to you guys about know, like you guys need to be producing children. That is not the I way know, I think. Don't think I live like in handmaid's Matt tale. loves the handmaid's tale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Margaret Atwood, I love you. No way. No. Has anybody here ever been hospitalized? Yeah. Yeah. Please share. No. I had uh, pneumonia when I oh, was yeah. in, when I was like 10 or 11. I like had to spend like three days in the hospital. Oh my God. In Indianapolis. <gasps> Were yeah. you on vacation? Yeah. It was like, it was like towards the <gasps> oh, end no. of my vacation. I fell sick. And, fell sick. Um, he fell ill in the winter of 92. <laughs> I've got the black I, I fell sick. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, fell sick. Like, like British. The cold of 22. <laughs> <laughs> he fell to the grasp I of the cold. Ill. I fell ill. <laughs> I did, I, so I fell ill and uh, found myself in the hospital. You know what, though? I don't, I don't think I asked my mom enough questions about it because mm. I feel like maybe I was dying. <laughs> And she just doesn't what? want to talk about Let's it. Let's get Cindy on the I don't, phone. It, yeah. was, it was. I remember. I hated it. It was such a fever dream, but I loved it because they had a McDonald's, uh, uh, Ronald McDonald's. You remember the cartoon that McDonald's would make? Oh, mm. like the robber. Like you could. Or is oh, that Burger King? Uh, the Hamburglar. No, that's, <laughs> Hamburglar. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, the Hamburg, It's the whole. It's the whole gang, and they had it on VHS, and you could get oh. it sometime. And they had it at the hospital, and I, I loved watching that. Oh, so that was a good time in your life. <laughs> the time I was at the hospital. I had an ablation for my heart. I had Wolf What's Parkinson that? White. Okay, um, an ablation is so I had Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, or. It's basically an arrhythmia issue with my mm. heartbeat. Mm -hmm. um, I, When I had it, when I was like in high school, I'd go into rapid arrhythmia like all the time randomly. Like your heart like would you just, could just feel it fluttering. Fluttering like and it would go on for way too long. Oof. Like obviously your heart should like uh, go into rapid arrhythmia if you're ever like jogging or something. But it should settle out after like a few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Mine would go on for, for like... And I had done nothing, and it would go on for like 10 minutes. Oh, my God. And I think I'm right about that. I had to wear a heart monitor, and then they realized, yeah, you have Wolf Parkinson White. Had an ablation. They go they go through the oh, um, like vein. the veins of your legs with like a catheter, go up to where basically there's a hole in your electrical system, and they carterize it and uh, make everything... 
uh, called copacetic in your heart. It's an easy procedure. Um, and a lot of people live their entire lives with that syndrome and don't even know. Don't know. It could, but but it's not like life threatening, if that oh, makes sense. Well, that's good. It could be life threatening if you're like in your 70s and it was never treated and you are experiencing okay. like, yeah. That makes me feel better yeah. because I, I, I had get like, what is it? Arrhythmia? Tachycardia. Tachycardia. Mm-hmm. Where mm-hmm. my heart will just like race that's so randomly. Yeah. So tacky. I had to wear, <laughs> so uh, I had to wear a heart monitor like last year for two weeks. Did but they d- didn't find anything. But it was so cool. Like, okay, here's the thing about me. Hypochondriac. Like, I have severe health anxiety. However, like, you know your body and you know when something's wrong. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's not normal to just randomly, like, your heart's just racing at all times. So I told my doctor that. And it would be when I would take specific medications. And so then she was like, well, let's make sure it's not your heart. So then I went to a cardiologist, which was so annoying. So I was like, it's just the medication. Mm -hmm. And so I had to wear a heart monitor for two weeks. And then they did all the tests like EKG and ultrasound of your heart. And like, I love getting to watch that shit. Like, I'm like, I know I'm paying for this. But like my insurance That's paying for cool most of it, see. but I feel as though I'm getting like a lesson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I'm like, Ooh, show me more. And like, oh. I've done some crazy shit at hospitals that I'm like, the doctors are like, okay, like they watch it be done. A million times yeah. a day but i'm like oh that's so cool and i'm like what's that like, yeah, what's yeah. that? and they're like okay like swallow like do what you have to do but yeah nothing was wrong and he you, was like, oh, you totally just lo- do you get peace of mind seeing all this like oh absolutely yeah anatomical information about your body and yes. you're like oh, okay, it doesn't so like freak me out at all do you, do you ever think knowing. you see something you're like wait is that bad <laughs> yeah do you like, no. want to find something to be like I knew it. I mean, no, obviously you don't want anything not. wrong. But. It's just like, so I have really bad like gastrointestinal problems for, and I've had it for years and it's been like the root of all my shit, whether it's like acid reflux. Like when I get acid reflux, it legitimately like I get tingles down my arm. And so that would happen for years and I had no idea what it was. So like the first time it ever happened, I was like, oh my, I'm having a heart attack. Like this is crazy. It's, and it lasts for days. Yeah. So like I've been to the emergency room a few times because like I was like 22 years old. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what fucking acid reflux was. Um, but every time they're like, nothing's wrong with you. You're fine. But like I've gotten endoscopies since and they're like, oh, everything's not fine. Like you have this. You have to take this medication. Ooh. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff done. I got a barium study at a hospital, which was really cool. You have to swallow. It's called barium. And then because with my acid reflux, I was having problems with certain foods. Like they'd get stuck in my throat. So they you do that study to Fish try oil pills. I'm sorry, I'm no, I yeah. no, like you know, like bread, like stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm like literally 90 years old. And uh, just like, take my belly yeah. up. So you, I fat, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I you. Yeah. They, you swallow barium and I believe, and then they do an x-ray of your throat as you're swallowing. And so uh, I got to watch wild. that happen. Ooh. So I got to watch the liquid go down my throat and like watch it go down and like you see inside of your body which was like so cool as it's happening yeah oh, i don't know the uh yeah. i know and then they were like disgusted. they're like oh yeah like it is working slower but like we don't know why <laughs> like, that's the okay. work because you always expect doctors to know why but yeah. a lot of times they don't and it's not their fault it's just like they have to figure it yeah. out but it's like how do you not know why they yeah. have to process of elimination they have to rule things totally. out yeah, yeah. 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 they uh, just they can tell you what the problem is they're like yeah that's not working right and you're like Totally. So yeah, I it? know. Yeah, and it's like, so much know. of it is trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just been I've been waiting for my appendix to burst. Well, that's how fun. I feel, Matt. No, like I'll I'm wake up in the middle of the night, count, scared it's gonna happen. Count down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think about it every down, day. You put an Instagram <laughs> countdown. <laughs> my appendix is gonna burst. Yeah. I just predict. I I feel like it's going to happen in my life. Aren't I, there? Uh, isn't there odds of, of it? not happening like most people it doesn't happen to most people no, yeah it's like what one in eight no i feel like it's one of every thousand maybe Bullsh- it'll maybe you need your blood type it would tell you well Bullsh- one of one shit, of like Mike. every 13 people have my blood type <laughs> well you at least know like if if you're in a decent group of people one person's appendix I don't know. has burst. And I know one person in my entire life whose appendix has oh, burst. Oh no. You know, know more than one person? It's Mike. one in twenty people. Which okay. is appendix burst? Yep. So in the US Damn. Think about that. I know. I'm really scared of that, too. And, but my dad had it. I just don't get... Oh, your dad had it? My mom had it. Oh, my God. Bestie. I know. <laughs> I just... It's it, I, it, it alarms me because it can happen 
any day. Like if you're on an airplane time. or you're uh, backpacking in Thailand. Good I, luck. I feel as though like it's not Set like in. isn't it most of the time it's like you you feel yeah. the pain and then it, have time. it progressively gets worse. It's I think not you have just, like, like a day. I don't no, think you, you have, have like, that much time, do you? It, I think it totally depends. Like I think my dad was like on day two and he's like, I should go get looked at. Yeah. Can you just Pete's preemptively dead. get it removed? Like, no. would you ever just do that? I, don't think See, like, I, I doubt they, insurance would cover they it. They should do that, though. I don't get why we get our wisdom teeth taken out for, like, preventative dental uh, reasons. But we have this, uh, what's the word? Organ. Vegetal organ that uh, can be taken out in less than 10 minutes. And we that can burst Wait at any time. Yeah. I think they it has can't toxins do it, in it. Because it's like, they're, with any surgery, there's a risk. So they want to eliminate any risk of you getting... I don't want the risk of it popping, I know, I and it's either. like my wedding day. <laughs> like, you know? I know, I think about that too. <laughs> you know? I think about that. I'm not gonna hope I don't get but COVID. But it's like so many, like your gallbladder, you can take that out. Like that, it's like so many. Get that things. out of there. Yeah. I don't want it. Yeah. Don't want it. And kidney stones too. <laughs> Remove one take, of my kidneys as well. No, you need kidneys. <laughs> no, you can I, live with oh, one. Correct, but I'm. Okay, yeah, you don't want to just remove them. Yeah. about kidney stones, gall stones, where it's like yeah. gallbladder stones. If you stones. drink enough water, though, you should be fine. with That's like the big thing with kidney stones. People don't drink enough water. you have water. a weird relationship with water. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to, like, <laughs> cure everything. It, 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 <laughs> no water, had kidney you get, like, stones. diagnosed with cancer. Water will cure it. Yeah. It's fine. He turns, like, alt-right. Like, yeah. <laughs> water. <laughs> Vitamin C juice and water will cure it. Yeah, I'm always, like, trying to be mindful about, you know, like, salt intake and stuff and, like, kidney stones. And then I'm like, oh. pickle juice, gone, gone. <laughs> Who cares? Like, oh it's not going to happen to me. No but one had kidney stones. I was feeling, this was a few years ago, I was feeling um, some slight pain in my flank, which is like... What's a flank? Oh, that's a flank. <laughs> your flank steak. What? Your flank. A steak. Your flank is like your... Just your back muscle. Your like lower oblique? back. It's your flank. Okay. Your, there's like two. You have a right so flank and a left flank. My flanks. I was yeah. running and I could just always feel like, Ugh, it kind of hurts back there. And I knew it wasn't like a muscle... <laughs> pain yeah it was just this little pain like, and that's where your kidneys are your kidneys are on your flank they're like attached yeah, yeah. to the they're very back, back of your body kind of. and um i went to a urologist Ooh, and yeah did you have to get a thing up your no, I didn't, oh. but I did have one of those when I um, had my heart surgery. Mm. Of your oh. pee hole? Yeah, you, catheter, because you have catheter. to pee. It's crazy because I don't know what that feels... Well, I guess I could know because I also have a pee hole, but for some reason when I think <laughs> of I also men... Have dick. <laughs> when, I, when I think of men having something go up their pee hole, I, oh, like, I yeah. feel like I know what it feels like, even though I don't. And I'm... I, uh, you know me up. I will also, one time when I got my heart surgery, <laughs> right after, they... Um, <laughs> They went to go talk to my parents, and they were like, well, Matt's coming down from the anesthesia, but he's having a good dream because he has an erection, and we can't <gasps> pull the catheter out. Shut you and your boners. But they wanted to tell my the parents. Audacity. They told your parents? How old because were you? they had to tell me about it, because I need to tell if I ever have to go under. They go, do we need to know anything? I go, sometimes I can get an erection <laughs> if I am under anesthesia. He's having a good dream. <laughs> yeah, because, I don't know, they have to like plan for that. Got it. And so planes, surgery, so they make what me else, <laughs> Podcasting, does that give you bummer too? Yeah. <laughs> Left, would love to I'm know like, that. Uh, <laughs> so, Are those your only two surge surgeries? Uh, besides some plastic surgery, no. Oh yeah, my, my ears. Oh, oh yeah, that's the right, ears that's right, that's back, right. Yeah. It's like I've had a facelift. <laughs> I was like, and what? wisdom teeth. Oh, I've, gone yeah. under, I've gone under. We got like, you with your wisdom teeth taken out, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we picked, we you, picked up. you up. Oh, you got there when I, not my wisdom oh, teeth oh, taken out. Canal my graft. Uh, yes, a tooth cadaver. extraction. It yep. was a tooth extraction. Oh, that was a nightmare. When you were dying. Uh, yeah. Remember at my old <gasps> apartment, you were just sitting there crying. And Aww. he didn't. I had a friend over, my friend who's a doctor, and Matt didn't know that my friend was over. And Matt was just in my room, just, oh, because oh, 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 I hurt so bad. Oh, and my no. friend was like, what's going on in your room? And he, I was like, <laughs> I think Matt King just had his tooth pulled out of his head. So he, One of the worst pains <gasps> yeah, I've ever been in my life. so bad. Did they not I, give you anything? I was like coming home, and then I had my prescription, but Mike was like, no, you don't need to be in a car. Come over here. I'm going to go get your medication for you. Aww. And then he... I had ran into a lot of trouble trying to get my medication oh. and all of a sudden all the pain started kicking in and I couldn't escape it. Oh. I couldn't take anything for it. I was oh, like no. at the pharmacy and it's like, it'll be 45 minutes and you just can't, you know, when you're yeah. at the pharmacy and they just tell you it's 45 you're minutes like, well, and then now what? I, yeah. Did I, you go to the Rite Aid on Ventura? 
I don't even remember. Probably, yeah. They're slow. Yeah. Writing on Ventura. Slow. Oh, it is just... <laughs> Lawless, they're having right? a day. Yeah. That, they, they don't care at all. <laughs> no. Because there's a fucking ice cream thing there, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the they're thrifty. Like, oh. thrifty. <laughs> what? Thrifty, thrifty yeah. ice cream. <laughs> Why does it take so long at the pharmacy? All they're doing is putting the pills in insurance. the... They have to, oh, they're waiting for them to call back and approve it? Is that what a it is? A lot of the times, yeah. I think if, mostly with, like, new prescriptions, yeah. Because some, like, I had to get a prescription that was $3,000 without insurance. And, like, with insurance, they only cover so much. So, like, I wound up having to pay 900 So, it's, like, a Jesus. lot of back and forth. But I feel like for most things, that's probably why it takes so long. Because they have to call your insurance. That's the worst. Well, it doesn't pharmacy. take that long. But is it, like, a continual refill? Mm-hmm. Then yeah, that's, that's why. why. Oh. Have you seen the pharmacy TikToks where they're like dividing up the medicine and yes. putting it in? Oh, it's so oh. satisfying. Oh my God. God. I, I want to buy like fake pills and like <laughs> buy, <laughs> and buy that thing just to like play with I it. Know, just to it be like, cow. Like, I'm just being busy. <laughs> just doing things that are like, <laughs> Wearing yeah. like the cute little outfits with, yeah, with the Flintstone vitamins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dividing them up for us. Oh. She she, them up. Yeah, it looks fun. Have you ever gotten surgery or gone to the hospital? I can't imagine like if like, well, I was going to go last week when I had COVID. I thought I had to go to the ER, but <laughs> I didn't go. Have you ever been in hospice? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, none of us have done that, yeah. I don't think. <laughs> hospice scares me <laughs> so much. Yeah. Oh, it just sounds, it just sounds mm. like... Uh, have you ever been to, to, hospice? to the hospital? Um. Yes, but just because I had anxiety. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was one of those things where I thought like my heart was beating so fast. Yeah. And I was like, this isn't normal. So my mom took me and everything was fine. Everything was fine. Yeah, I've done yeah. that like 10 times. Yeah, it's the I've worst. definitely been to the hospital like at least I would say like seven to ten times. Oh my god! In terms of like health anxiety stuff, it's all been fine. We're hitting your head oh. twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Have you Once. ever sent anybody to the hospital? Like, Sex sent me to the ER. Yeah. Have you seen that like, show? What do, you, like, what do you mean? Oh, like I sent Daron to the hospital twice oh, when we were little kids. When like, you were little, I I threw him up against the wall and he <gasps> cracked his head open. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think I've ever done no. that unless it was like so sports bad. or something and like. I sent Nothing a dog to the hospital, but Aww. it wasn't really my fault, but I still feel bad. I was working with this girl one time, and she, it was, we were at an office, and she had her dog and sitting in my lap, and I was just, like, working, and the dog just randomly just, like, jumped out of <gasps> out of my lap, and then, like, landed on its foot Aww. wrong, and was just, like, in so much pain, and the whole office was like, what happened? Oh, and I was sad. like, he was in my lap and just jumped off. I'm sorry. Oh, I felt so I felt sad. bad, but that dog was in so much pain. No, I Pets like... in pain is like worse than a human in pain because you don't know what they're thinking and you can't communicate. Oh, no. But like wow. babies, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are humans. <laughs> That's true. Remember when I I one one time I stayed at Matt's house when he was living with roommates who had a dog like before I lived in L.A. and I had my vitamins oh, yeah. zipped up in my uh, book bag, my vitamin yes. D pills. I'm like, we went out for a day and I left my book bag like in the living room oh, and the pills were like in a thing in the zipper and. Uh, Matt just called me was like Mike how many vitamin D pills did you have in your thing and I was like I'm pretty sure it was full and this dog had just like gotten in unzip my book bag unzip my toiletries bag chewed through the bottle and ate like <gasps> 40 vitamin dog. D pills yeah <sighs> and we I thought uh, the dog was gonna die I felt so bad I was worried about it too because it was like an old but dog I wasn't mad at you like I understood yeah. like, like this happens Sounds but what sucked is that the girl who was my roommate and the owner of the dog, she was like, well, your friend can't stay here anymore. And uh, I didn't like, uh, kick you to the curb. Yeah. And I, I felt bad. That's kind of messed Damn. up. Damn. I know. Like, that's on right? your dog. Right? I felt that's like, on your dog. I know. Like, if you did that at my house, Paris would never do that. Like, like I mean, I, it was a, it was like a book bag in a living like room. It's also like an accident, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's not like you intentionally, like, or even just left them on, like, the table in reach of the dog. Like, they were in a secure spot. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so I, but the dog was fine. We, we like, oh, we Googled phew. it. Vitamin D overdosing is not a real thing for oh. dogs. Like, they just pass it. It's not a big deal. The dog was fine. They yeah. were oh, still good. alive. But, yeah, I had nowhere to stay, so I called up David, and I was like, hey, like, I know we just met, like, the last weekend, but can I crash at your house tonight? And he's like, yeah, sure. So I stayed at the house, and then. And then I'm oh going home. God, that poor baby. That happened to Nolan once. I think he was visiting LA or something and staying with a friend, and he had chocolate mushrooms. <gasps> in, Psychedelic mushrooms? Yes, like in a plastic bag, in a thing, literally same thing, in a backpack. And they had a really bad situation where the people he was staying with had a roommate who would just go out of town and not tell them, but she had a dog. And then when she was out of town, she'd be like, hey, can you? do you mind just like taking the dog out every couple hours or whatever? So it was like a really bad situation, but that dog ended up getting into Nolan's stuff and ate 
all of them. What ha- do, and what, it, that dog was it's tripping like, out, or does it not affect dogs? They they like won't die. Like they yeah. can eat like weed and stuff like that. But it's probably the chocolate that is like that's what they'll it, yeah. die. I mean, it's fine. It ended up being fine, but it definitely was kind of like <laughs> they didn't take it to the vet. She, I think she did. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't know like exactly. What chocolate, what you gotta. Yeah, but I was like mushroom. We should do an urban Whatever. legend episode. Yeah, that would be great. Ooh, we yeah. could dress as our favorite urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> Big. Flip. I'm um. What's that guy? Slenderman. Slenderman. <laughs> Slenderman. Dibs. Slenderman. Ooh. What's your emo name? Um. Bony, bony demon. demon. How do you legend. How do you know what your emo name is? Someone, Someone just called me up. a bony demon, and then I was like, it's kind of cool. Oh. Like I was like, here comes bony yeah, demon. It was supposed to be like an insult, but yeah. it was kind of funny. Oh, I thought it was like your porn star name. Well, that too. Oh. <laughs> you find which I realized <laughs> you shouldn't say what it is because. They're guessing the street, street you lived yeah. on and your first pet, and those are security questions. Oh, that's so yeah. true. Well, passwords. I feel like that's probably why they started was people like trying to hack you. Sneaky. Yeah. They were like, "What's your porn star name? Give me your address." Yeah. So what? we won't be doing that. <laughs> um, I while we were talking about organs, forgot that like I've had things removed from my body, and I was just thinking about how I wish that I got to like keep them in jars. Like, I know what? what you mean. I know what you mean. Do like, you have your baby teeth? No, I think my mom they has like mine. raw, and that's like creepy to me. But like you know, like teeth. in Ah uh, Hey Monsters, where they like keep them in like the fluid, and then you just see it like yeah, floating. that's literally what I was imagining. Uh, like, <laughs> that. <laughs> like that would be cool. You like my ta- I got my tonsils out. That's one oh. thing, and then I got my dermoid cyst out, which I really wanted oh, to see. Yeah, <laughs> because it's I so had a the museum. Yeah, I had a cyst on my ovary, but it wasn't like an ovarian cyst. It was a dermoid cyst, and dermoid cysts are full of hair and teeth. Oh. <laughs> I think, Aaron, Aaron, I think about your sis like, like a regular. couple times a month. Wait, how did this... I really do? I think about that Wait, sis. Wait, why? Um, I don't know. I don't know because it just—it it? was such a huge imprint in my brain where like I'd never photos? seen Wait, did something I show you like the, that. I showed you the pictures, right? And I think it really like scared me. Like for <laughs> you, thank God it was just you know, yeah, benign. But I was just. Uh, I don't know. It just shook me up. And yeah. I just think about that. I like have this the schema of my brain, like with you. <laughs> it's like Karen, friends, vlogs, all that. And then <laughs> the cyst. Cyst. The cyst is like a pretty big like place in, in, your my brain. Head. in my head. It's funny. I have the pictures. So they, they'd only keep it. But she was like, here are all, do you want the pictures that we took? And I was like, yes. How big is it? It was uh, 10 centimeters. <laughs> Isn't that ten what, centimeters? Isn't that like a baby? Yeah, it was really big, like a baby's head. No, ten dilated, centimeters. Yeah, you dilated ten yes. centimeters before you give birth. Yes, so that's like <laughs> it was really big, a baby's head. Yeah, no, and it's what, a baby's yes. head. Had hair like teeth. we yes. could, we could throw it. <laughs> it was really big. It and, was it, a, and it's made out of. Oh no, she, inches, this inches, is an urban ten legend. inches. Oh, this but is that's an still really big. Wait, ten inches is bigger than ten centimeters. Yeah, no, it was really big. That's like almost a foot long. Did it have yeah, eyeballs I know. too? Like was it a baby? Well, because originally she was like it was seven, but then when she when they removed it, they were like it's actually ten. And it's made out of hair and teeth. Yeah, so it's like a like a a ball, like a cyst, but it's full. When you open it, it's filled with hair and teeth. Can Who's it, hair? Did, like your hair and my, teeth? My twins. No, it just like grows with you from birth. I actually That's saw wild. a girl. I I was reminded about this because last night I was watching TikTok and a girl said that she was like a twin, oh. and then she, her twin turned into a dermoid cyst. She like ate it saw and that. dissolved it, and it turned into a dermoid cyst on her head. And then when she was born, they had to like scoop it out, and it was like filled hair and with teeth. the twins' teeth and hair. This is like the start of a horror movie. Like someone Malignant. saves that. And I'll then... show you pics. I I keep them in my um. They're actually in my car. <laughs> Have you not seen? Oh, yeah, oh my god! They've been in my car since like 2018. Because when we left the hospital, I just like put them in the dash. They look the like dash. ultrasound photos, yeah. like baby photos. I'll show it to you. Okay, Matt. In case you want to refresh, but there's like black hairs all in it. You can mm-hmm. see. You, and give you it can teach it. How, you can teach it how to talk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. Furby. Yeah. yeah. It also disgusts me. I don't know if this is true, but I feel like inside is dark. Oh, oh. Carly. I've I, always you, said that. You told you me. Always wait, to wait, me wait, wait. Explain this. Shook me up. Think about it. Like, what? I don't know if it's true. I don't know if light can go through your skin a little bit, but in my mind, your lungs and heart and everything is all working, but pitch it's just black. pitch black in it's there. It's like the rock and roller coaster. <laughs> I don't even talk about that. There's no light. That. There's no light. Yeah, and what's that's, wrong with and that? That's just why on the Magic School Bus, they needed the bus with lights so they could see in <laughs> yes. front of them. Oh, good Okay, point. so it is dark in there. Debunked. <laughs> <laughs> no Ms. more Frizzle. Religion. None of that for the next episode. Yeah, it's definitely all working 
and pitch uh, black. I know, but it just like to me, it's disgusting. Once to think you about. open it up, then yeah, it's but gross. It doesn't make it's like you, the bottom. You don't, sorry, uh, no, I was saying it's like the bottom of the ocean's pitch black. That's disgusting. Or like the inside like, of a laptop, like when you're using your laptop. But that's not alive. I don't care about that. Like oh, it's so your it's body. alive. Okay, or and like, it's me. Like, what do you mean? It's just pitch black down here, and <laughs> what do you want it? What know. do you want it to be? You're like full Light. color. Light. I want it to be lit up with Moses Jones up in that bitch. I want LED lights throughout my whole body, so it's alive so the inside is just well lit. Like it needs to be well lit. Like an IKEA showroom. You just want everything to. I want my lungs. I want them to communicate. I want them to hang out. Yeah. See eye to eye. Yeah. But your, bra- your brain's doing it all for you without any. Oh, yeah. God. I just like can't think about that. It Isn't gives it me, so gross that out. when women have C-sections, they have to like take all of their organs out. What? Of their, like, they, they do? have to take like your stomach out to like get out the thing. The baby. And then they just put it back. Huh? Yeah, they plop it out of you. Shut and up. <laughs> this is the most squeamish, like, yeah. podcast And here ever, you but... go, trying to force us to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we have to go through. You have to remove yeah. the stomach. Because it's, yeah, you have to like, take out your intestines. Yeah. They, you have to, like, they move can just shit take around. It out. I mean, I watch a lot of my 600-pound life, and the goal in that show <laughs> is to do a gastric sleeve. Oh. And they literally... Isn't that really dangerous? Uh, like I getting like your stomach routine. stapled. Um, I think it's like maybe I don't really know. Yeah, but they literally just take out the stomach and do yeah. something, put it right back in. Yeah, and you surgery you is insane. Just, it's surgery so is crazy. Bar- it's so I'm terrified barbaric. of it. I'm terrified of it. Like I, like my you, appendix is gonna fucking burst, and I'm gonna have to. If get you it. just like look at like watch surgery, like they're straight up just using like knives and yeah. forks. It's and barbaric. Just, it's yeah. just like so not. Have you ever been under? Uh, have you even gone down under? Uh, just when I, got, <laughs> <laughs> when I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh you went was, all the way out? Oh, yeah. Ooh. They, like, I was... See, that's how I would want to do it. Yeah. Put well, yeah. me out, knock me out, Because some people just me. have get, like, the gas, where they're like... Hey. No, yeah. Th- and, and you like, can just feel the drilling know. in your brain. Oh. No, no, no. Knock uh, me out. Thank you, honey. I, I would not want to get knocked out now, though. Like, I don't... It's and like scary. when they, like you see those TikToks, people like coming mm-hmm. to and just like saying crazy shit, and they're like crying. <laughs> yeah, like, sometimes yeah. I think those people are just hamming it, hamming it up. up. Hey, I I, uh, I really don't like anesthesia videos because I'm like this person's so funny, and I'm it's, like, no, it's like scary though. Like when I I when I got my endoscopy it was during the pandemic, so I could only be there by myself. So my doctor came back to tell me it's like so in and out, and there's like little things I remember. But then when I had a phone call with him, he was telling me everything I was saying, and I was like. I'm mortified. Like I was like, I was like, I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> like saying all this stuff. And I'm like, why? Oh, you, you had filmed it somehow. No, it's I know, so but like funny. I couldn't. Like I no know. one was with me. So then it's like I didn't remember shit. And then when he was on the phone, he was like, Congratulations. And I was like, What? He's like, You've ma- you're getting married. And all oh, it was right after we did like the legal ceremony in Palm Springs. Oh yeah. And he was like, or before. He was like, Good luck on the wedding. And I was like, what? And he was like, "Yeah, you were talking about your wedding. How you're getting married?" And I was no idea. I'm wow, married. it's really freaky. Yeah, and that's why I feel like for people who like have it on video, like I don't even know if I can post it. I'd be like, <gasps> I know. I just want to watch it back and just see what I had said. Have you ever watched um Cole's wisdom teeth tape? Is Cole it Hirsch? real? Oh my god, it's so funny. It is the funniest. Did I see it? You definitely. Have. He's like mean to the nurse like he's so mean to everyone it's really funny oh, hey, this is like pre-internet i believe what it's really good oh, i gotta see that it's really really funny came to my birthday oh i love him mm-hmm. Me too. i thought you meant cole's the store like, oh oh, oh, oh. Cole's, <laughs> cole's cash i saw a tweet that was like cole's cash is worth more than the american dollar <laughs> we should go to cole's after this I thought Cole's closed down. It makes me depressed. I can't go to exactly. Kohl's. I was like, <laughs> Wait, why would I ever want oh, no, to go to Kmart? Kohl's? Kmart closed down. Oh, all right. Kohl's right. is a depressing store. I think so. Oh, get yeah, Kohl's. We're not depressing. Going to Kohl's, I love a Marshalls. I like. I like those kind of stores. Well, I like a Marshalls well, like, and like a TJ Maxx. <laughs> I'm, <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I get Kohl's, stuff there too. Kohl's is tricking you too. It's always like this is on sale. It's like everything's on sale all the time. All yeah. the time. There's always a and little. It's so messy. I, I can't stand the mess. I feel like we should go because I haven't been since Omaha. I'm We're taking curious. a peek. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna look in the windows and walk away. I, I don't know. Is there even a Coles nearby? I don't know. I can Google. I feel like I haven't seen one. Driving. I, like I kind of want to go to a Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, there's one God. in Burbank. We got pizza from there. We, oh yeah. No, there, you don't want to go to a Chuck E. Cheese, Mike? They Absolutely scare me. Not. The animatronics. Get some tokens and play some there's games. One. I played the game. I just th- since we went to that one pizza place, I'm just like scared of those. Shakey's Pizza. Oh my. There's one God. two miles from here, <gasps> and it's cold. It's right next to a Panera Bread. Oh. 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 I saw some um 
myths that I just thought oh. we could clear up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mainly because Carly is a notorious <laughs> finger cracker. Yep. Oh, knuckle cracker? Doesn't cause arthritis. I knew that. <laughs> Does not cause arthritis. Yeah, and then, wasn't there a doctor that did a study that for like 40 years he only cracked one hand and didn't crack the other <laughs> to prove Damn. that it didn't cause arthritis and he did like a 40 year study where he would only crack his left knuckles didn't How crack do his right do you do that i feel like if like i, I do one hand i have to do the other no Can't he crack well knuckles. he might have lied i don't know really? but apparently it was a like, study like i crack the oh, sides like, of my hand does like this part and yeah. i'm like oh and this I, I love a good wrist crack where you get that going <gasps> yeah Ew, i know oh my god don't oh, yeah. do that ever again next to me <laughs> oh god, it's the how best. did you do that it's the can best can you touch your no oh my god like Ew. first also, thing in the morning part, just... no oh yeah no 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 Everyone okay stop. sorry i can't do that <laughs> i can't do any of that when can I you crack my... your ankles they my Ugh. knees crack i had a tiktok oh yeah, oh, yeah. When you just go my <laughs> knees crack i am an you old cracked, like, a glow lady stick. You just crack, crack, right? my, my knees crack every time too i do it do it i want to hear it I love a good toe crack also. TJ will pull oh, my toes. Yeah. Oh, should I do mine? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it like, kind of yeah, hurts me. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if it will. Your pants rip? Yeah. Get the mic near that. Here, go. go wait, go it, toward, because you're out of the, will. yeah, there. Mm. Try it. Oh! oh! That one definitely got picked up. I hope the mic didn't pick it up. People were like, oh, I, she farted. That wasn't her knees. And I'm like, oh, have you ever farted in your life? <laughs> if it sounds like that, I am thoroughly concerned. Ooh. Wow. Um, okay, do you have any other myths? Real cracky. Oh, and then the going outside when your hair's wet. Oh, oh that doesn't yeah. make right? you sick. Makes me feel sick. Yeah. It just makes me cold, it but it yeah, doesn't horrifying. make you sick. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah, that, that was always make sure your hair's dry yeah. before you go out. Yeah. You're, gonna cool. You're gonna get sick. Yep, everyone said that. I yeah. still feel like that might be true, though. <laughs> that feels right. Well, it says no research has okay. been conducted. Like, also, vitamin C doesn't no do show. Okay. So, like, there's no proven data that right. has shown that going outside with wet hair has in the cold will make you sick. Okay, but let's move on. We've got some emails from people f about health and wellness related things, whether they're stories, questions, comments, concern, whatever. You two can send stuff in. We pre-film a lot of episodes, so we have we don't really pick the topics in advance. However, follow us on Instagram, and then each week we post what the topic will be about. So if you want any, why are you laughing? Because Matt's just making He's dumb like, faces. No, I'm just like. Smile, like look at the camera. <laughs> she, you're on camera. I know. I'm letting Aaron talk. Oh, oh, okay. But I was just like, this is what it's like cool working with our people. <laughs> um, you post every week the what the episode topic will be. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, follow us there. You'll see the prompt each week. It is good influences pod on Instagram, and then you can email good influences podcast at gmail dot com with all of your tea questions, comments, concerns. Yeah, with yes. the topic. Okay. Do you have a white iPhone? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Oh, never mind. It's the... Never mind. He's like, mm, never mind. Oh, <laughs> that's the poor kind. <laughs> no, the, the, the 13, that's a 12. Is your case new? I have no idea. Oh. No. Oh, is that the one you got? You saw Apple? the button, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't? <laughs> okay. the, wide, the wide charger? <laughs> My freshman year of high school, I had a health class with all girls. I went to a private school in Texas. Our teacher was a woman in her mid-20s who had gotten married recently. The first few weeks of class were normalish, from what I can remember. Then she started telling us about her sex life, and it got mm. weird AF. She said the first time they had sex on their wedding night, she was on her period, so they put a white towel down and got all and got it mm. all over it. And she told us she could feel when her hymen broke, <gasps> and it was a very bonding experience for them. Ew. Then her husband started coming to class and just going to the back workroom that was connected to our class classroom and waited for her to be done teaching there was a rumor that someone saw her going down on him back there she well, also brought her pet rabbit to class and told us not to let him distract us while she proceeded to follow him around the room and he chewed a piece of my friend's crock off i don't know what that's about but <laughs> okay Alex it Ernst. was a wild experience and she didn't come back to teach the next year i wonder why wait Love how old are these guys? people 
freshman year of high school. Oh, this isn't a question. What? We're just hearing the story. Uh, yeah, I thought Ew. it would be like a oh, story. <laughs> completely unprofessional. Can you believe? I mean, that's like crossing so many lines. Yeah. The teacher. And think, how old are you in freshman year? Like, <laughs> like 14, 14. 14, yeah. It sounds like Ew. a Chris Lilly character. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's my pet rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> pet rabbit. Oh, well, my virginity. Uh, we don't have my own like, <laughs> We yeah. put down a white towel. <laughs> but I cannot oh. do an Australian accent. It kind of can. But like, Hope she was reported. She I, had to she quit some teachers, man, they just like they have an audience and they're like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes let these people know what I think about really this. Really riff, thirteen year old. Yeah, yeah. Just letting... she's at a private school. It, was it a private school? Yeah, yes. all girls school. Oh, that's yeah, private schools. The, I mean, he, you know, the rubric for like qualification is basically non-existent. There's you don't have to like really. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, you just bit... have to have your hymen broken. <laughs> okay. And... Okay. No. no like, I'm, I'm, like private schools can just hire whoever they want. Like you don't need to be qualified. You don't need to have a teaching degree. They're private institutions, so they can just pick someone up off the street and be like, "You're a teacher now." So I they pay more. This one goes out to everyone who says, "What are you going to do when influencing ends?" We're going to teach at private school. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We're going to teach health and wellness class. I used to think that I would be like a if, like a college professor. I'd be like, I yeah, see that. I've had a lot of good teach. life experience. I run a couple yeah. businesses. I can go and be in. But apparently it's really hard to get into college teaching. For that, you need like your master's, your master's your PhD. Yeah, yeah. You have to have taught before. But maybe one day. Still be a magician. <laughs> Mike the magician, a, a magician teacher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I teach a magic school or teach yeah. stand up comedy. <laughs> hey, y'all. I know everyone's lifestyle or bodies are different, so I'm just curious about all of yours. I'm a 22 year old stay at home mom with a one year old boy and another boy due in November. I'm always c- curious about how your friends are in your mid to late 20s or very early 30s, and none of you have kids. And or Aaron is the only one married. Do you not want to put your bodies through pregnancies yet? Are you concerned about not being able to have kids, the ones dating? Are you not wanting to get married? Or am I just a strange Midwestern that's had kids and married at an oddly young age? Great question. Absolutely. I feel like we've talked about this a lot. Like, I feel like it has to do with where you are. Mm-hmm. Totally. If yeah, I was in the location. Midwest, I might be married with kids. But I don't, like, I know I don't want kids. So like I'm not having kids. Yeah, that's I, just me though. Yeah, our location, our environment, I think is like a big factor yeah. totally. into why we have not been to that stage. But I don't think by any means like are we not looking forward to it or we're avoiding it. It just yeah, just life is at a operates at a different rate when you're in. I think it's like if you're in any big city like New York, yeah. Chicago, Miami, L.A. Like when if you stay in like hometown places like smaller towns. There's, I think that's just li- the life, it's the, thing to the do. life cycle just kind of pushes you in that direction. I mean, you're married, so it's not like we're not, we're not like completely avoiding yeah. it and people are in relationships and like moving toward that. But um, yeah, I think it's very much location dependent and also lifestyle dependent. Like, I also just think like that perspective has kind of like shifted. Like I'm the first one of my friends married and like that was crazy to me because most of my friends like are still on the East Coast. Like, you know, did college, got jobs, like are all mostly engaged now, but none of them have kids like on purpose. But like, I feel like when I was in high school, like that was the thing that was like my town. Like everyone was doing it. But I feel like now like a lot of like millennials our age are just like, well, wait. Yeah. It's also like the world is so scary. Like on it, like I don't care about my body changing, but I also don't think I could carry a child because I have really bad health anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like I think I would literally kill the baby because I'd be so anxious. Like Like on accident. (laughs) Yeah. But like, I'm not concerned about like my body changing or like be looking different afterwards it's like not those factors it's just that like i don't want to have a kid right now like mm-hmm. yeah ugh. i don't either i don't want my body to change either though mm. you must Selfish. have children <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you must <Yeah. laughs> matt's like fuming matt's scotus surrogate you have to have a child <laughs> yeah scotus but everyone is different also like you are, i feel like if anything like you're d- extremely young like yeah. you're 22 like have two kids yeah, that's, I mean, if if that's the life path that you're totally. on, let it rip. Have fun. Just yeah. enjoy it. You're not in competition with anyone except yourself. Like, yeah. people feel behind or ahead. Whatever works for you, live the best life. <clears throat> okay. Last one. Okay. Hi. Like Matt. <laughs> 
I also have psoriasis and take Humira for treatment. Wow. I'd like to know more insight mm-hmm. into his journey and how he's feeling. Great question. Thank you very much for asking. Um, I'm doing good. Um, I now have done, I think, six. Oh, uh, I would say it's on like 10 weeks. Has it been 10 weeks? It's been a while. Since I saw you at Air One. <laughs> When I first got psoriasis, yeah. you're completely right. When was that? I would say, like, that's an accurate number. Yeah. Like, two um, months ago? Yeah, two months ago. Um, It's in the best stage it's been right now, but I would like to say that it's on its way out. Um, I was doing a lot of tanning, and that was helping a lot, but I've stopped doing that um, just because I just don't want anything to aggravate it because I really feel like it's almost gone. It's uh, gone on, like, my outer arms, like, my legs for the most part, and my chest. The only area where, like, I really still see it is on my sides and on the underarms of my arms or the inner <laughs> sides of my arm. Um, but it doesn't itch anymore, which is great. Oh, yeah, that's good. My scalp, I feel like, is, like, recovering. I don't have as much dandruff as I used to. Um, so that's it. I'm just sticking with the Humera. I'm not switching up diets or anything like that. Nothing crazy. I'm getting less sun. Maybe I could use more sun, but I feel better. So that's where I'm at. I have Good. always really wanted to get Matt to put breast milk on his psoriasis. I know, but there was a formula shortage, I no, felt well, like. Well, that's not breast milk. <laughs> Kind of though. We gotta first just, first need to find a friend with a baby. I know. Who's Is breast actively milk a... breastfeeding? <gasps> well, on the Kardashians, fr- well... Kim has really bad psoriasis, and so she would use Courtney's breast milk because she heard that it's good to put on. And like, I'm pretty sure it like helped her, but like, I mean, it didn't cure her psoriasis. But I think it would just be like a funny little like interesting <sighs> experiment to see. Yeah. Hopefully, by the time that person has a baby, I don't have psoriasis. Mm. But Patricia's sister in law is pregnant, so. Oh, well, congrats, Mazel Tov. Maybe you can try hers out. If Give me milky. <laughs> oh my Mommy's <God>. milk. <laughs> Mommy's milk. I would love to know what the feeling is of those things that take milk out of uh, your... I don't. I feel like it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. It looks like it hurts. I know, but I just want to like know what it does like it feel like. You could probably get one and try. I mean, it probably... You're not going to make milk, but it'll probably feel the same. Yeah. Well, maybe, well, maybe not, because right. I don't know, actually. I that don't is know at all. crazy, though. But like yeah. your boobs make milk? Yeah. It's wild. It's like, what do you mean? It's making food for another human being. Yeah. I not just it. like it's food, but like crazy. It's not like it's like a random liquid. Like it's milk. Yeah. It's, like, it's not making cliff bars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no Diet Coke in there. That's what mine would be Diet Coke. Yeah. It's so crazy. Some Bodies Diet Coke are and Red so Bull. weird. All okay. Right. Well, that's it. I Hope. feel like we learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. I love this health class. Yeah. Health and wellness class. And we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, uh, and once again, we are not medical professionals. So <laughs> if fact check us by all means. We watched 14 season seasons of Grey's Anatomy. So I, uh, oh, yeah. I honestly think like. You have a medical degree. No, we qualified. know everything. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, but, but most importantly, we just want to say thank you so much for watching and listening to this podcast. It means so much the responses that we have received and the enthusiasm keeps us going we love all the comments and you guys are real you really really cool and i just want to say thank you (laughs) you're really good and if you guys haven't already make sure that you um just subscribe follow leave a review in all the places where podcasts are spotify apple podcasts anchor anything like that. And go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, or wherever we are online. We also have a good influences uh, TikTok account and Instagram account where we post all a bunch of reels of moments of the episode. (laughs) So if you like it, share it with your friends. Just get the buzz going. Thank you. Hopefully we've been a good influence. Yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, bye guys. Bye. Bye.